Hi everyone and welcome to our next lesson and in this lesson we will continue with CSS transitions. Now before we do that actually let's get straight into it. Right so what we're going to do is we're going to type in an a anchor tag and we're just going to call it button. Then we're going to give it a class or button. Right let's see how this looks like in our browser. Now, as you can see, we got our button A tag right there. There was no styling or anything. So let's just quickly, um, obviously add our dev tools right there. Right, so we got our button right there. So let's quickly style it in CSS and then we can add some transitions. Okay, let's go. All right, so in CSS, we're gonna just gonna add a class of button. And the first thing we will do is we will give it a font size, let's say of 1.5, and we kind of want to make a big button. And the next thing we will do is we give it a color. So the color is basically the font color. We want to give it of white, and we want to do the text transformation. Of, uh, no text decoration so basically the underline that it already have we want to give it of none and then we want to give it padding one ram top and bottom you guys remember this now two ram left and right because we kind of want to make a really big button and we want to give it a background color of let's say blue some kind of blue let's give ev so that we can choose a blue color. Let's see. That looks well. Right, so let's see how this looks like. Now, as you can see in our browser, we got our big blue button. So if we hover over it and we go to our layout, our box model, you can see that we have our padding. 32 pixels, left and right, and 16 top and bottom. And so we got our button. But now what we want to do is we want to, as we hover over this, we want to change the color. So change the color to maybe um, a lightish blue and the text to black. So let's go there. All right, so we learned about hover. So let's hover, so let's add the button. All right, so what did we say we want to do is we want to give it a color. So the text color of black, and we want to give it a background color so let's copy this background color right there. let's copy this one and we add it in there so what we can do now is we can hover over this and actually give it a very light that's almost turquoise let's go to the blue here and make it very light something like that i guess right let's save that and quickly go to our browser and see how this looks like all right, so we go into our button, and if we hover over it, you can see there's like an instant change. And you can say instant change from the light blue to the black. But now, that doesn't look very nice. So how do we add a transition effect so there's kind of a delay in the transition from that font? Quite easy. Let's go to our VS Code. So what we can do now is we can actually say transition. And then we can say, what do we want to transition? We want to transition everything. So everything in this button. So basically the color and the background color, we want transition. And what we want to do is the duration. Now this is important. Um, a thousand milliseconds equals to one second. But what we want to do now is we want to transition the it to 250 
milliseconds and now we want to decide how we want to transition it all right the first one that we're going to be working with uh, let's go to vs code quickly okay so in vs code right the first one that we're going to be working with is ease now what ease does it will start off slow let's do this quite um 500 so that we can see the transition um so the first one is ease now what ease does it is starts off slowly then it goes fast and then it slows down to the end again now this is the default uh, transition property the next one is linear now what linear does is actually the same from start to finish so basically if we add linear there so like this linear property the other one that we have is but let's quickly show you all of them so but i don't want the video to be too long but let's quickly go and have a look at this in our browser all right so as you can see we're in our browser and if we go over the button you can see there's a kind of a transition but let's make it a bit longer let's make it three seconds three seconds 300 milliseconds 3000 milliseconds so if we go over the button start off slow fast kind of change but normally what you want to do to make it look nice anything under let's keep it two seconds because we kind of want to see the transitions all right so there's one transition the next one we can add as you can see if you click on it we've got a preview so what it does um let's do four seconds so we can actually five seconds so we can actually see the so you can see it starts slow then it goes fast and change it to five seconds all right so what's nice about firefox we get a little preview so it starts off slow then it speeds up fast then it goes to slow again so a linear what it does is got the same speed right through right then we have ease we have ease in and ease out so yes and then we have fine so this is all the kind of different properties but now we're going into the cubic bezier uh, properties but we kind of want to stick to the normal ones for now right so the next one that we have is like is in like we've shown you is out and then is in out the fact that starts slow and it ends slow all right so there's the transitions there okay what you can do it now is let's say let's say we gonna add a width let's add a width of 30 view widths all right and if we hover over it we want to give it a width of this 10 20 so 20 and if we hover out we want to give it a width of 60 view width all right so what we're going to do now is 500 milliseconds and it, let's do it ease right now what you can do is if you just specifically want to target the transition we can just say no we just want to target the width and we want to do that to the width okay so let's see how that looks like okay so if we click hover over this button as you can see it grew a bit there but the transition is not working let's refresh this quickly okay we don't have a width property in here width you can see there we have our transition right there right so there's another way of doing actually doing the transitions since ease is our default so we don't need to add that as well so let's go back into vs code 
All right, so let's do this. We give it a width. A width or 15 view width. And we're going to give it a height of, let's do 20 view. Let's keep, make it, no, we're going to make it fair. Let's make it 10 view height. Let's see how this quickly looks like. Ooh, doesn't look that good. Let's just go over it quickly. Let's refresh it. Change this to 20 and see how that looks like. 20, 30. All right, so we're going to make it 15, 30. Okay. All right, so that's, that's quite nice about the dev tool. So you can quickly Kind of adjust your properties otherwise you'll go back and forth back and forth but anyway we're gonna what we're going to do is we're gonna do the width we're gonna change that in two seconds we're gonna change the height also in two seconds and we're gonna do a transform also in two seconds so let's do that so we're gonna make it width 60 view width then we're gonna do the height and we're going to make it 60 view height and we're going to transform form we're going to change it to don't know how this is going to look like let's say rotate um 180 degrees you can obviously do whatever you want. So let's quickly look at how this is going to look like. I don't think this is going to look very nice. Two, three, three, so longer. Three seconds. So let's quickly see how this looks like. Okay, we now browser. Let's close this little window. Let's make it smaller for us. So that's its actual size. So if we cover over it, it's turning and it's going. And if we leave it, it goes back to <laughs> its normal size. So this is not something you're practically going to use, but it just kind of shows you what you can do with the transitions. Very, very, very nice. All right. On that note, we want to say thank you guys for watching. You can explore the Quebec Vizier uh, transitions on your own a little bit. And then, um, yes. But this is just the basics. That will be kind of very, how can I put that, a little bit more complicated. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video. Thumbs up if you do like the video. And yes, any feedback would be useful in order to improve these videos. Thanks for watching. And in the next episode, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss media. Um, if, you, if your website is going to be useful for smaller screens, for tablets or mobile phones or even iPads or something like that. So from a desktop to an iPad to a cell phone, you want, kind of want to transition your website to be actually usable in all those kind of media formats and the media tool in CSS will be kind of very useful for you in order to do that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.